Yeah, my dad in the street against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. Five blokes outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story. So stay tuned. Umar Ahmed, IFL TV proudly sponsored by Everlast Tyson. Your reaction to an epic fight there? Yeah, I thought it was a great, great fight. You know, both fighters done really well and, and the best man won on the night and that's Joe Joyce. So credit to Joe. He put up a, a great game plan and he, he dug deep himself. He got tired and he done what he had to do. That was it. Proud he won of, the fight. Proud of your man, Joe? Yeah, proud of them both. They both put on a great heavyweight fight. So got stuck right in and, and the best man won on the night. Where do you rate Joe Joyce now? I think he's a good fighter. You know, you beat Joseph Parker, who had a good camp and done everything right. He's right up there, isn't he, with the rest of them? Frank rates him uh, above Anthony Joshua. Do you agree so with that? So do I, yeah. I think he beats Joshua and I think he beats um, Usyk too. Okay. Too big and too strong. Plus, we'll have to ask the situation with yourself. You've been a deadline on Monday yeah. to Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua. Do you think they'll sign? No, I don't. I think they're both a pack of shit houses, and if it's not done by Monday, we'll be moving on. I'm not extending it anymore till Tuesday. I'm not extending it till Thursday, the following weekend. They've had a month now. They've had the contract. If they don't want to sign it, then go suck a dick, in my opinion. Okay. And I will be moving on because this is the Tyson Fury show. It's not about some beaten men. I've been unbeaten for 14 years at this game. Heavyweight champion of the world twice. So, you know, I don't wait around for nobody. If they want to fight, they fight. If they don't, they don't. I was surprised when you offered 60-40. Why did you give him 40%? I just wanted the fight to happen. You know, this fight's been talked about being happened for the last five years, and it hasn't happened. So, you know, I didn't want to give him any excuses not to take it, but they'll always find some excuses. It's called ego. Eddie Hearn's got a big ego, and Joshua doesn't want to lose to me, so that's why I don't think they'll sign the contract. But if if they do, your your promoter Frank Warren revealed to me today that BT and his own reps from both are going to meet on Monday. Your reaction to that? I don't care if they meet Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, every day of the week. They'll try and find a way out of this fight. Quickly, your thoughts on Alexander Rusik? I think well, I've made it quite public about Alexander Rusik. He's a good middleweight fighter and he beat a CrossFit champion. And uh, when he fights a real heavyweight like me, I'll destroy him in six rounds. I spoke to your brother Shane uh, the other day. He said that you could beat him with one hand tied behind your back. That's correct. I could beat him after getting out of the pub and having 10 pints of beer. Okay, final message to Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua. Sign the contract, pussies, or don't. Either way, I don't give a fuck. I'm sick of caring about it now. Uh, they either do it or by Monday, I swear to God I'm moving on. There's plenty more fish in the sea. And I don't need any opponents to sell any stadiums out. I could fight you and sell out Wembley Stadium. People ain't coming to see the opponent, they're coming to see the show, the Gypsy King. Could it be Char? Could be anybody. Anybody, we'll see, we'll see, whoever it is. It might be Dave Allen, yeah, I don't know. It might bring David Price out of retirement, who knows? Thank you, Tyson. Appreciate Cheers, it. Thank you. Yeah, my dad in the street against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad, I've punched him a few more times. Five blokes outside my front door, you coming out. One hell of a fucking story, so stay tuned.